Hello everyone. So I'm gonna do a second visit on this question, House Robber Three. So、uh, someone told me that I should explain it in more details. So I decided to give a second video. And for those who already know the question, you can skip the question introduction. However, I'm gonna repeat this question again for、so、those who do not know. So the thief has found himself a new place for his delivery again. There is only one entrance to this area called the route. Besides the route, each house has one and only one parent house. After the toll, the smart thief realizes that all houses in this place forms a binary tree. He will automatically contact the police if two directly linked houses were broken into on the same night. So, for example, one we should rob three three one because it will give the maximum sum three plus three plus one, which will be seven. And for example two, I should rob four and five to not trigger any alarm, and which is also the maximum sum. So, ah,、uh, this is a typical like dynamic programming question. And for those kind of question, we're gonna do is that first, we're gonna find the base case. Then second, we're gonna build the recurrence. So for the base case. What I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna define what will happen if no equal to null. For each node, I'm gonna have two entries. The first representing if we rob this node, what will be the maximum value, and second entry represent what if we not rob this node. So for no equal to null, all those two entries should equal to zero. And then for the recurrence. Let's say this is R one, this is R two, and this is R three. We're gonna have array. Let's say uh. R one, dash R, uh underscore R R one underscore, and R for Rob and not Rob. This is R two underscore R and R two underscore and R. And R three underscore R and R three underscore and R. So we already know these two value. We want to build for the value for R one. So R one underscore R will be what? What does that mean? It means that we want to ask what will be the maximum value if we rob this node. So of course, since we rob this node, R one dot value should be added to this sum. Then it gonna be something R one dot value plus something. Since we rob R one, it implies that we could not rob R two or R three. So it will be some. It will be the sum of R one dot value plus R two underscore not rob it plus R three underscore not rob it. I hope that makes sense. And then for R one underscore not rob, if we not rob R one, then we don't care whether we rob R two or not, or rob or not R three or not. We just want to find the maximum value between the combination. So it will should equal to maximum value of R two not rob and rob. Plus maximum value of R three rob and R three not rob. Then we build my recur the recurrence. So that's it. And if you want to see the code, uh, I will give a link to the video which has the code. Then, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it.